Welcome to the podcast that's been named one of the very best in marketing research. This is Research Business Daily Report, and we're made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com slash rbdr. I'm Bob Letter for more than 25 years, the respected voice in market research. We welcome you to episode number 48 in our series, Market Research in the COVID-19 Era. Now, we're going to take a very slight detour today because our guests are Scott McDonald, the CEO and president of the Advertising Research Foundation, and he's joined by Melanie Cartwright, CEO of the Insights Association. Melanie and Scott are with us to present what the respective associations have decided to undertake to confront the issues of diversity and inclusion. Scott got first crack at describing what's going on at ARF. Of this initiative, but the initiative had actually been um, uh, in the works for about two years. Uh, and the first step that we uh, took was to get uh, official blessing of the government to set up a, a, a 501c3 tax exempt foundation under the aegis of the ARF for the purpose of improving the diversity and the quality of the workforce available to the research, media, and advertising uh, uh, worlds in the future. Um, so ARF wide was announced last week uh, under that charitable foundation that we set up. Uh, it's the Workforce Initiative for Diversity and Excellence. So it basically says what I already said it was. It is a program to award scholarships to uh, students who uh, come from disadvantaged backgrounds and connect them to the network of companies uh, involved with the ARF. So by that we mean the peer networks, uh, placements in those companies as um, uh, interns and, and apprentices. Um, and providing scholarship support to keep those students in school, which is particularly important at the moment in the COVID recession, which has had a disproportionately terrible effect, uh, both economically and from a health standpoint, on these at-risk uh, uh, households. Although some of these kids have to you know, consider dropping out of school because their families uh, are in financial difficulty. So we think it's a particularly appropriate time uh, to accelerate what we're doing uh, to actually try to improve the long-term diversity of the workforce. A lot of us talk about wanting to do that. We see this as a very tangible way that we can, we can move that needle. Okay. And Melanie, what's going on with the Insights Association? So the Insights Association is, uh, has just announced that we're creating um, a diversity and inclusion initiative. Um, it's sort of wide in its remit. Um, we're excited about it because it's going to um, result in some strong partnerships across the industry. So we're going to start by building the committee and um, the committee itself is going to be made up of people who have a background and a passion um, and specifically from um, marginalized communities um, uh, to, to form a, a committee that will put together the second piece, which is a measurement plan. Um, as an industry, we believe in measurement, but we haven't done enough to measure in our own um, industry or in uh, you know, some of the, the populations to really understand uh, you know, the, 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 the depth of the inclusion and diversity problem. Um, so we'll build a measurement plan. Uh, after we build the measurement plan, we're going to build an action plan that will actually help affect change and use the measurement plan to see if the actions are resulting in change. Um, we're going to build a coalition and a partner network, um, MRS, the Research Society, WIRE, ARF, QRCA, universities, HBCUs, and work with you too, Bob, uh, on um, really actually creating a, a coalition of people um, that are banded together rather than each, each of us trying to um, create our own path to action and path to progress. We're going to all band together, which really excites me. Um, and then after we build a coalition and the partner network, we're going to really get down to business about making progress in some key areas that the measurement plan tells us we need to do. Um, and then build a recognition plan too. So um, start creating recognition for companies that are excelling in this area and make it um, something that we can sort of um, be uh, uh, enthusiastic and celebratory about when there is progress made. But it all starts with a committee that is um, um, 
really passionate and motivated to create the most difficult piece, which is the measurement plan. And then once we get the measurement plan in place, create an action plan around improving the, the metrics. I'm so passionate about um, as a person, as a human, as a researcher, making sure that everyone has a voice at the table in, in, in society, in research, uh, and in our industry. And this is a real passion work for me and for many people, not just me, but many people in the industry. The time for talk is over. You know, I think a lot of companies in the uh, pandemic, you know, very, you know, logically had to kind of, you know, batten down the hatches. They had to pivot to doing work in a different way. Their budgets got blown. There were things that they had to uh, attend to. Diversity won't wait. And I think the events of the last uh, month have shown that th these issues are alive. They affect people mm -hmm. right now. And, you know, for the sake of our democracy, for the sake of, sake of our profession, diversity is not going to wait. Companies, industries, associations all have to make it a front burner priority issue, full stop. Okay. Melanie? Yeah. Related to that, I mean, in similar vein, we have never had a time more important, more um, ripe for leading from the front in terms of data and in terms of um, empathy. And we are an association that is supposed to be about giving voice to the unheard. And so if there's a voice in our world or in our industry that doesn't have a representative voice, we must solve it. Um, and so then I would say, if you are passionate about this and you really want to participate, I hope you'll email me and, uh, and I'm sure that there will be lots of opportunities um, to participate. This series needs and wants your thoughts and observations about what research is undergoing during this COVID-19 crisis. And we're finding all kinds of different dimensions of observations from people in the business. We'd like you to email your impressions about what you see happening that you think is particularly important and or different. And send it to rflbob at gmail.com. Your perspective will be transformed into a video like the one you just viewed today. We know you'll enjoy the experience and the output. That's your Research Business Daily Report, made possible by our exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com forward slash rbdr. Now, if you make it a habit to watch us, we thank you. And if you find that RBDR is time well spent on your part, well, please recommend our video to friends and peers. And we hope that you will consider becoming an RBDR Patreon supporter, which you can do at patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here with us tomorrow.